Princess and Surprises in off-duty look wearing Adidas trainers and bucket hat. Princess Anne's style credentials have pipped her as one of the best-dressed royal ladies for several decades. With her penchant for timeless silhouettes and ability to re-wear clothes from her twenties while making them look current, the thrifty Princess Royal's sartorial prowess, at 73 continues to reign supreme. The princess opted for practicality over style on day 5 of the 2024 Paris Olympics, battling against the Parisian heat in breezy black trousers and a loose-fitting cotton top. The former Olympian, who is typically only seen wearing tailored separates and elegant workwear, rocked a pair of £150 black hockey luxe field shoes from Adidas. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The sporty sneakers, which are typically worn to play hockey, looked similar to the brand's best-selling Samba trainers, which have been coined as the It Girl shoe and can often be seen on the likes of Bella Hadid, Hailey Bieber and even Harry Styles. Adding to her edgy ensemble, princess and accessorized with reflective racer sunglasses and a white Adidas bucket hat, the kind of sartorial combination that could be accredited to a model's off-duty street style. Princess and wearing a bucket hat is a first for the royal mother of two, who styled her raven hair in her signature neat chignon, a hairstyle she's worn for almost five decades. The royal, who is a member of the International Olympic Committee, met with athletes and coaches as she visited the Team GB house in Paris on Wednesday. She attended with her husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence. The Princess Royal's return to the spotlight at the Paris Olympics comes shortly after she was hospitalized after suffering minor head injuries and a concussion. Princess Anne, who is a keen equestrian, suffered injuries after falling off a horse. She was admitted on 23 June following the incident at her Gloucestershire home, Gatcombe Park and spent five nights being treated at Southmead Hospital in Bristol before being discharged. She made her first public appearance at an equine competition at Hartpree University and Hartpree College in Gloucestershire on 12 July, where she admitted to guests she can't remember a single thing about the incident. She was seen sporting a bruise under her left eye. The Princess Royal is continuing to show her support for Team GB at the Paris 2024 Olympics, and on Tuesday, she was joined by her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. Princess Anne, 73, was pictured in the stands at the men's hockey match at the Stade Yves du Manoir. The couple were dressed in Team GB uniforms, with Sir Tim sporting a blue zip-up track top and then wearing a navy version. The pair also showed their support at the men's rugby sevens last weekend, with them being a lifelong fan and patron of the Scottish Rugby Union. The princess's attendance at the Olympics comes just weeks after she suffered a concussion and a minor head injury after a horse-related incident at her Gatcombe Park estate in Gloucestershire. Hello. Understands that attending the Olympics is part of Anne's phased return to royal duties and she will have a full schedule of visits supporting British athletes over the next few weeks of competition. While she did not attend the opening ceremony and watched proceedings from Team GB House instead, Royal fans have been delighted to see her among the spectators at various events. On Tuesday, Anne and Sir Tim watched the men's hockey match between Great Britain and the Netherlands. The match ended in a 2-2 draw as the teams played in sweltering 35C heat. At one point, Anne put on a Team GB branded bucket hat to keep her cool, as well as her signature wraparound sunglasses. On Monday, Princess Anne and Sir Tim joined the crowds for the equestrian events at the Chateau de Versailles. Later, Anne presented the, the gold medals to Rosalind Cantor, Laura Collette and Tom McEwen of Team Great Britain eventing team, in a day that saw Team GB claim its first golds. Tom Pidcock also brought home the gold in a sensational cross-country cycling race. The princess also had the honor of presenting the silver medal to swimmer Adam Peaty in the men's 200 meters breaststroke final on Sunday.